before unboxing. Take photos of the box from different angles for your record. Open the box and scan the QR code provided to watch the unboxing video. Snip off the zip ties and take out the tour kit box. Lower the kickstand and ensure it, it provides firm support for the bike. Snip off the zip ties that secure the front wheel. Remove all packaging materials from the bike. Open the tool kit box and take out the tools, parts, and accessories. Use the M4 hex key to remove the four faceplate bolts from the clamp. Position the handlebar on the faceplate. Use the M4 hex key to partially tighten each of the four faceplate bolts. Adjust handlebar by aligning the reference marks. Following an X pattern, use the M4 hex key to securely tighten each of the faceplate bolts by a quarter turn. Remove the warning labels. Use the M6 hex key to remove the through axle on the front fork. Remove the front fork protector plate. Remove the spacer from the front brake caliper. Remove the front wheel hub caps. Align the brake rotor with a gap in the disc brake mount and gently slot the front wheel into the front fork. Insert the through axle back into the front fork and tighten it with the M6 hex key. Loosen the brake caliper bolt using the M5 hex key. Adjust the position of the brake caliper so the brake rotor is centered between the brake pad with even clearance. Use the M5 hex key to securely tighten the two bolts. Remove the bolt that secures the front fender to the forward crown using the M5 hex key. Pass the fender into position from the back of the front wheel until it reaches the mounting point at the rear of the fork crown. Thread in the bolt and partially tighten it using the M5 hex key. Remove the two bolts on the fork legs using the M4 hex key. Thread in the fender arm mounting bolts and use the M4 hex key to partially tighten the two bolts. Ensure the fender is centered and has clearance around the front wheel. Use the M4 and M5 hex keys to securely tighten the three bolts. Carefully thread in the ride paddle by hand, turning clockwise. Tighten the ride paddle securely with a 15 mm wrench. Carefully thread in the left paddle by hand, turning counterclockwise. Tighten the left pedal securely with a 15 mm wrench. Attach the front light to the stand mount. Use the Phillips screwdriver and the 8 mm wrench to secure the front light at the desired angle. Connect the front light cable with a quick release connector. Loosen the display adjustment bolt and remove the display mount fixing bolts using the M2.5 hex key. Mount the display in the middle of the handlebar and use the M2.5 hex key to partially tighten the display mount fixing bolts. Adjust the display to the desired angle. Securely tighten the display mount fixing bolts and the display adjustment bolts using the M2.5 hex key. Connect the display cables to the quick-release connectors and fasten them together with a front light cable using a cable binder. Remove the bolt on the bell mount using the Phillips screwdriver. Install the bell onto the handlebar and tighten the bolt. Adjust the bell to the desired angle. Remove the bolt on the reflector mount using the Phillips screwdriver. Install the front reflector and use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the bolt. 
Adjust the front reflector to the desired angle. Remove the bolt on the reflector mount using the Phillips screwdriver. Install the rear reflector onto the seat post and tighten the bolt. Adjust the rear reflector to the desired angle. Set the password for the storage bag. The initial password is 000. Press and hold the switch and pull it outwards to unlock the password lock. Modify the storage bag's password as desired, and then release the switch to save the settings. Thread the bag mounting bolts into the mounting holes from the inside of the storage bag. Use the M5 hex key to securely tighten the two bolts. Fasten the storage bag firmly to the seat stay bridge using the Velcro at the top of the bag. Remove the battery protection foam and ensure the battery's connecting points are clean. Insert the battery into the down tube. Remove the key from the handlebar area. Insert the key into the keyboard and turn it counterclockwise to check if the battery can be released. The bike is equipped with a charging mount. It is recommended to install the charger mount to a wall near the power outlets. Connect the DC output plug from the charger to the charging port on the side of the battery and plug the charger into a power outlet. The battery can also be charged out of the bike. Plug the DC power cord barrel connector into the port. The battery level is indicated by the battery indicator status. Loosen the bottom stem angle adjustment bolt using the M5 hex key. Adjust the stem to an appropriate angle. Securely tighten the bottom stem angle adjustment bolt using the M5 hex key. Adjust the display to be vertically aligned with the ground. Loosen the four faceplate bolts using the M4 hex key by a quarter turn. Adjust the handlebar to a comfortable riding angle. Tighten each of the faceplate bolts by a quarter turn, following an X pattern. Adjust the display to the desired angle. Securely tighten the display mount fixing bolts using the M2.5 hex key. Remove the front light mount from the bike and detach the front light from the mount. Flip the mount upside down. Reattach the front light to the mount and reinstall the mount into the bike. Loosen the stem clamp bolt using the hex key. Adjust the handlebar to ensure it is aligned perpendicular to the front wheel. Tighten the stem clamp bolts securely. Squeeze the brake levers and rock the bike back and forth to make sure the handlebar, stem, and fork are locked tightly. If the tire feels soft or deflated when pinched, it is recommended to inflate the tire to the recommended PSI indicated on the tire sidewall. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds to power the bike on or off. Press the plus or minus button to shift the paddle assist level up or down. Press the light button to turn the front light on or off. Press and hold the minus button to activate the walk mode. Release the button to exit the walk mode. Press and hold the I button to enter the general setting menu. Press the I button 5 times to enter AF0. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds to switch to AF1. Release the button when you hear a beep sound to activate the Find My Treasure. 
Open Find My app on your iOS device and follow the instructions in the Apple Find My manual to pair your bike. Connect the charging cable to the USB port at the bottom of the display. And then plug the other end into your iOS device to charge it while riding.